guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and in today's video, I wanted to show you the new wheel that I just made. So this is a 16 inch by 4 inch wheel, and as you can see, they can use it, but they're not super accustomed to it yet. Espresso is actually just doing it for food. Um, she does know how to use it though. But anyways, I actually just made this. It took me around two hours because I am technically challenged. <laughs> apparently and also because I had to really switch stuff up a few times just because I wasn't really sure what I was doing so you can see it spins really nicely it's pretty silent so it's very nice the only problem I have right now is this stuff so the wood now what is my problem with it well the biggest problem is the fact that it's well wood it can soak up pee and eventually is going to stink now because my rats aren't big on marking and they don't pee on stuff really at this point, I'm not too worried about this wood stinking up too quickly, but I do want to switch it to PCV pipes and I'm probably going to do that maybe, I don't know, in a few weeks or something like that. But in the meantime, for anyone wondering, this wood is a pine, white pine, and it's also kiln dried, so it's perfectly safe for the rats to chew on. Nothing wrong with it, and yeah, it's nice to uh, support the wheel. And I guess I'll talk a little bit about how it's made. So the wheel is a oil pan, which is 16 by 4 inches. So that's how come it's so nice and big. I got it on sale for $7 on Amazon. The wood here, like I said, is kiln dried white pine, which is from a local hardware store. Right up here, you can see that I have some little bolts. Um, I guess they're screws. And what this is for, <laughs> Espresso is being such a beggar, look at her. Sorry, I'm just having her show off the wheel. Anyways, the little bolts are there to support the wheel. There is a piece of the kiln dried pine in the back, which is the support. It's 16 inches tall by two inches and by three inches. So that's a very nice piece. Anyways, it has the center piece connected to it by a nut. And the three bolts connect to a fidget spinner, which I have drilled in holes for and then connected with the screws. And the reason for that is so that it doesn't make terrible noises and hit stuff. It is metal, so if it was hitting the wood, it would sound terrible. But as you've been hearing, hopefully with espresso, let me get her back on there, you can hear that it's actually pretty silent. The only thing you really hear is their feet. And I think the design is really nice. Um, I kind of copied it off Erin's Animals, but I added a little bit more support because it was not working well otherwise. Anyways, you can see it's very nice. I suppose I should probably compare it to my 12 inch so you can see the change. This is the 12 inch. It can fit in there. Look at that. It's so tiny compared to the 16 inch. Oh my gosh. So again, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I hope to maybe, if I get kind of proficient at this and make another one, maybe I can make a tutorial on how I made it. Otherwise, you can just look up videos on how to make wheels. I pretty much just copied that. And when I add in the PCV pipes, I'll do another video on that so I can show you the difference. Anyways, I'm super excited to show you this because I've wanted a 16 inch wheel for so long, but as you probably noticed, they are super expensive. We're talking usually over $100. Um, actually in the US, they tend to be around 120 because either you buy one that's 120 or if you ship in a Tic Tac wheel, then shipping is actually more than the wheel and it's around 120 altogether. So just super expensive in general. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, here is Oreo being very nervous around it. She's scared. Aw, I lost my model in Espresso. Where'd you go, Espresso? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully it inspires some other people to do some DIY stuff. So you can see, very nice. Okay, one more shot. Perfect. Okay, bye.